The Theodore Roosevelt Rough Rider Award is one of North Dakota's most rigorous honors. The Rough Rider Hall of Fame at the state capitol features many famous people who have called North Dakota home. Maya Fleck talked with a tour guide and one of the artists who commissioned the paintings. These paintings act as a reminder of the recipient's accomplishments and have historical significance. The reward itself is based on someone having lived in North Dakota, don't necessarily have to be born, raised here, but have lived here and then gone on to do something with their life's work that reflects on North Dakota in a positive way. This is the man behind 32 of the paintings. Vern Skaug is from Minot and has been an artist for 55 years. Well, part of me will never die. It'll always be here. You know, it's kind of a legacy. He started commissioning the paintings in 1969. He uses photographs to map them out and it takes him around three to five months to paint them. He was referred to the governor's office by a friend and the rest is history. Uh, can you do a painting of Teddy Roosevelt? And I said, yeah. Well, how soon can you do it? And he gave, gave me all the instructions and the size. And I submitted it and it took over the, uh, the other one. And since then I've had the job. Right now, 47 North Dakotans have received the award and are selected through a vetting process. Once the application is received, the director of the historical society, the governor, and the secretary of state are the ones who make the decision. And typically it's been maybe one or two in a, a governor's term. The Rough Rider Award Hall of Fame is free to view and is open during normal capital hours. In Bismarck, I'm Maya Fleck reporting for your News Leader. The last honoree was named July 29, 2022, Dr. Merton Utgard, founder of the International Music Camp.